Spiritual Emergency, edited by Stan Groff and Christina Groff. Christina now deceased. Um, I paid a little bit more attention to Stan because I did his landscape for him about 10 years ago. And uh, spent some time talking and learning just the, the shared interest uh, with him at his house. He gave me one of his books. So um, I didn't discover this until recently because um, I couldn't concentrate enough to come into my body to read any books. And so from the moment that the trauma hit, I was limited to audio or video recordings, which I used liberally on YouTube and on Audible. And in, uh, so it is recently that I've broadened out into books. And uh, I wrote to him to no avail to try and get this book on Audible and even have offered to help, but he is busy with back injuries and stuff like that. So um, this is interesting. I'm reading this morning in the context of my bellicosity. Um, a sickness that is understood as a process of purification is the onset of enhanced psychic sensitivity giving access to the hidden and highest potentials of human existence is therefore marked by very different characteristics than those ascribed to pathological conditions by modern medicine and psychology. Namely, that suffering has only negative consequences. According to the modern view, illness disrupts and endangers life, whereas the shaman experiences his sickness as a call to destroy this life within himself so as to hear, see, and live it more fully and completely in a higher state of awareness. The symptoms of shamanic sickness are in most cases confused, undefinable, and follow no known pattern. Moreover, physical, psychic, and social reactions are closely interwoven. Particularly noticeable are forms of behavior that reject and even deride and ridicule accepted customs and standards. Initiates become holy fools who systematically put the world on its head or indulge in unworthy, shameless, and perverse behavior incompatible with established morality. The fool exposes the limitations of human criteria, confronts us anew with the undefined nature of our cosmic existence, leads us backstage to make us aware of the artificiality of our cultural values, and then shows us a world without limit because it is neither categorized nor ordered in accordance with artificial opposites. The sick jester removes these opposites, tears down external and internal barriers, and causes us to tumble head over heels from our tailor-made world of lines and demarcations into a more comprehensive and holistic dimension that has no beginning or end. One of the interesting responsibilities for a trauma, traumatic abuse survivor, a shamanic initiate, uh, for someone in dissociation, for someone exploring transcendence in this dance and chaotic pattern, is that one must witness in oneself a host of paradoxical personas in the uncertainty curated by a culture that does not prepare us for these personas or 
curate a response to these personas to decide in the innocence of the moment what to do, how to respond 